Here we go, project number three. This project, you will need your small canvas, your little baggie of wood pieces, you're gonna need all your paints, you'll need some water, and these little cups that came with your stuff, and your glue. So, the artist that we were inspired by is the grandson of Alexander Calder, but he did not give us permission to use his name, so I'm not going to say it on the video. But what he did is he would build really big, huge wooden pallets, and then he would get his paints and he would water them down a little bit and pour the paint over the top, and it just made this really cool tie-dye effect. On your project sheet, there's a YouTube video, a link to the YouTube video. It's, it goes really fast. It's really fun to watch. Um, I was excited about this project. So <clears throat> you'll have a bunch of random little wood pieces. Yours may not be the same as mine. And you should have two wooden blocks. So what you can do is the idea is to figure out how you want to put your wood pieces. You could, you could stack them all up like that if you want, but think about when you pour the paint how it's going to react. I think I want my blocks, I think I'm just going to keep them like that. But then you could put some pieces on the side. And so when the paint drips down and reaches these, what do you think will happen? So you could kind of make an experiment with it. Um, just play around with it. You could leave your blocks like that. You could, oh, this might be a fun idea. You could stack them on top of some of those and then see what happens when the paint comes down. I kind of like that idea of, of building it that way. Okay. So I think I'm going to try that. So get you some glue. We're not going to paint this canvas because it's going to get painted when we pour our paint later. Um, let's just see what happens. You know, I think I have an I, I think I know how I want to do it, and then I change my mind as I start doing it. And that's what that's what you get to do as an artist. You can do it however you want. Okay, we are things. You can stack them straight up. I think I'm gonna do mine like that. And I think I'm going to put one over here and one over here, and we'll see what happens when the paint gets to it. Okay, so here's what mine looks like from the top. Now, while this is drying, you can even let this dry overnight or you can go do something and come back to it after it's dry. Um, but while it's drying, get your cups out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna water down our paints. I should have, you should have eight of these. I should have had eight too, but I didn't. So anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, <clears throat> so it would help to have maybe a plastic spoon to spoon your paint. You're not gonna put it all in at once because we wanna do this two or three times. So this is really thick paint, so I'm going to put it in my cup, and I have one of these things. You could use a spoon, you could just pour your water in, however you want to do it, it's okay. Um, I think I'm going to do this, let's use that. Just got a little water, pouring it in, 
and then stir it. This part takes a little bit of time, so try not to get impatient. I just had an idea. I'm going to do this. Since I know I'm going to finish, I'm going to use the rest of my paint, I'm just going to go ahead and water the whole thing down. Oopsie. This paint's not thinning out as good as I would like it to. I don't know what's up with the pink. You just have to be patient and stir. Patience sometimes is hard. Use one of these. You should have a little wooden popsicle stick in your stuff to stir with. So in the interest of time, I'm gonna be done with that because it's not very fun to watch me stir paint for hours on end. Right? It's kind of boring. We're gonna stir. I'll try this method. It works. So you want your paint to be more like this where you can, where it will pour. It might be even a little bit thinner. And actually, putting the top on and shaking it turned out to be pretty easy. You just got to make sure you hold it really tight. So this is about how you want your paint to be. So you're going to do that with all of your colors. I'm going to use some of this blue because it's already thin. Water that down a little bit. So you get the idea. I'm not going to do every single one and show you how to pour every single color of paint because I know you guys can do it, but that's basically the, the deal. You got to get your paints, whoop, you got to get them to where they pour easily. And then after this, these are dry, you take your, watch out for my mess, I'm a very messy artist, and you slowly pour it over the top. And it'll start dripping down the sides in a minute. Let's see, we'll add some green. Because it's good if you have a level surface. And then I'm going to add some blue again. And my pink did not mix up great. Let me try to see if I can show you again. I probably could even add a little more waters. These, are, these paints are still a little bit thick for this project. You want them to be pretty thin. But the funnest part is just watching it go. I said I wasn't going to do all my colors, but now I can't stop because it's too fun. So I'm going to add a little bit of... You'll need help with this part, friends. because it's very messy, so you're going to need your mom and dad's help, or your sibling, or your babysitter. And the shake technique is definitely the best. A little bit of white. 
some more green. And it just keeps going and going. And then let me get my example from camp a few years ago and I'll show you how it's supposed to kind of look. Let's see, you just keep using color after color after color until it's the way you like it. But it should turn out kind of like this. This one's, I didn't have my paint. I should have prepared my paints ahead of time so you could really see them best way for it to do. So it makes this cool design all around. You can even pick it up and make the paint go whichever way you want it to. That's project number three, super messy, but fun to do. See ya in a little while for project number four.